this week on AU Weekly. You motherfucker. Konnichiwa, anime fam. I'm Tom the Protagonist. Sheldon Blastoise, he's a half-eaten Blastoise right now. Jean d'Arc, anime Hamlet. To weave or not to weave, that's the question. Answer being a swift kick to the balls and a response of, it is otaku, thank you very much. We all know why we're here. I'm just gonna get it over with so it's not looming over me like the Sword of Damocles. My Hero Academia is going to get a Hollywood live-action adaption. But why, though? But... But why, though? Legendary Entertainment will be doing it. They're the ones who did Godzilla and are doing the Gundam movie. And no, that doesn't give me hope for Gundam. No, that doesn't give me hope for My Hero Academia. But why, though? You had to poison the waterhole! That is the preciousness of My Hero Academia. Oh. Ugh. Producers Alex Garcia and Jay Ashtonfelter, who has a name that really sounds like he's just poking fun at Ashton Kutcher, will be in charge of the project. I, I don't, guys, just no. Just... I keep coming back to the same question. Why, though? But why, though? It doesn't need it. It doesn't need it. The only way I could see this being good is if they somehow get The Rock to be All Might. A good... Wait. That's good casting. Even still, guys, I just... All joking aside, I just don't see a way that this is actually going to be good. I just... I'm just tired of this. I'm gonna move on, because I need to cleanse my palate, because my, my mind has just been completely destroyed from that story. So, what's next? Give me something wholesome and cute. Ah, perfect. Pokemon cat hats are going to be a thing. Capsule toy maker... Kitan Club will be making them as part of their Neko no Kaburimono set and will include Pikachu, Eevee, Jigglypuff, Snorlax, Vulpix, and Meowth. Let's pull a picture of these up, shall we? Oh, they look adorable! I especially like the Jigglypuff one because it really speaks to me. It seems like he's questioning his life choices, much like myself. Also, the Snorlax cat, if there was a cat, to where you're like, describe a cat that would be a Snorlax. It'd be that exact cat. This set is listed as Volume 1, so it's safe to assume that more will be coming eventually. They will be placed in the gachas in Japan in January, and the full set is available online. So I just know cat lovers are going to get them. In fact, I might get one as someone's... Someone's birthday present... For more information on this, you can go to our brand new Facebook page! That's right, friends! There is a Facebook page for Anime Updated now. Go to there and like our page. And if you're from our Facebook page and you're not subscribed to this channel, you should totally subscribe. Help me out, please. We need to eat. You don't want to upset this face, do you? If you're wondering if there will be self-plugs like this throughout the entire video, ha <laughs> ha, you're correct! Fam, apparently every time I cover something nice, it has to come with something that's also sad or bad, like live action. Let's not go back into that. So, it is with a heavy heart that I say that Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid is set to end sometime soon. The article I read about it specifically used the word climax, and I'm I'm not a fan of that considering Kana is there. I'm like, hmm. Maybe maybe use a different word, please. The original manga first debuted in 2013 as part of Monthly Action Magazine, 
which is strange because I would have figured it debuted in Good Housekeeping. These serialized volumes are published by Seven Seas Entertainment, which is... Is there fan service in there? Let's up. Oh, yep, there it is. There it is. Good. Wouldn't want them to break the norm, would I? Yes, comfort zones are always great. That's why I'm more comfortable on Facebook. Speaking of Facebook, did you notice we have a new Facebook page? Go there right now and like us. Open a new tab. Keep the video running, though. Thankfully, from here on out, guys, it's nothing but at least not depressing news. So to start this string of happiness, We'll start with some space news! Godzilla is officially a constellation, guys. Hooray. Yes, and something I read on Otaku USA magazine, NASA's Fermi Gamma Ray Telescope has mapped out several new constellations. Godzilla is part of the many new modern ones that NASA is rolling out, such as the Hulk and TARDIS from Doctor Who. I've never seen Doctor Who, but I hear it's good. So don't. Don't even. The article went on to say some science mumbo-jumbo that I really don't understand, nor am I going to pretend to. I'm just going to call NASA a bunch of nerds. Ha ha ha! Man, I wonder if I could throw this skull through the glass house that I'm in. Continuing with more Godzilla news, apparently Universal Studios Japan is going to have a Godzilla slash Evangelion ride. That is so cool. The ride itself will be arriving in Osaka, Japan next year from May 31st to August 25th as part of Universal Studio Japan's Cool Japan Project. Yes, Japan, we already know you're cool. You don't need to rub it in more. This will be the fifth year of the Cool Japan Project and the 65th anniversary of Godzilla, the first movie dating back all the way to 1954, titled Gojira. Okay, that was not racist. That's literally what it was called. Please, please don't even start those rumors. I don't want the cops called on me again. If you're wondering if this sounds familiar, or if you've seen this somewhere, you probably have seen it on our Facebook page. Lovely, lovely Facebook page, that is. You should totally open a tab or go there after this video's over. Click the link in the description and like our Facebook page where we post memes, news, and everything in between. Go there after the video, please. We only have one more story to cover. So let's dive right into that, shall we? Some couples take divorce really, really hard. However, Crunchyroll is acting like that girl who just dumped her boyfriend and realized that she's so much better off. Crunchyroll has announced that they have officially hit two million subscribers. Huh. Don't worry, guys. I'll be catching up to you soon. All 45 of my subs know that. Elation, the parent company of Crunchyroll, announced to Anime News Network on Thursday that the platform had hit that landmark amount. This all coming after Funimation was like, eh, no, babe, it's not you, it's me. And Crunchyroll's like, damn right it's you, I'm awesome. To put things into perspective, guys, Crunchyroll hit 1 million subscribers last February, not this February, the one in 2017. So that is some exponential growth right there in just under two years. What I just learned, though, is that Crunchyroll used to be an illegal streaming site. They would stream anime without permission. So, Crunchyroll, when you talk about piracy, just remember you were on the other side of that fence not too long ago. All the way back in 2007. Ah, uh, good times. Good times. As we all know, Funimation is going to be terminating the contract that they have with Crunchyroll in November, thus ending a great union that left the anime world very, very sad and disheartened. However, Verve and Crunchyroll will be adding High Dive to their threesome of entertainment. So you know what? Crunchyroll has a statement for Funimation. It doesn't need you. It's a strong, independent company. It can... Staying on its own with the help of Verve and High Dive. It's got this. You know what, Crunchyroll? Yeah, you do this. Treat yourself. Buy that Jaguar. Ride with the top down past Funimation's house. Hopefully they see you with your new man squeeze. You can do this. I believe in you. Well, that's our show this week, guys. I'm Tom the Spooktagonist with my Hamlet skull. 
For Sheldon Blastoise, Shoto Todoroki, who's on his date right now, again, speculate with who in the comments, Jean d'Arc, and my great Kirby hat that is on Sheldon's face. This has been AU Weekly. We'll see you guys next week. Until then, stay updated. Go like our Facebook page. On the Halloween episode, when I'm supposed to have fun, they come and f*** me. As we all know, Funimation is going to be splitting from Crunchyroll and Verb, and they are adding High Dive to their threesome of entertainment.